said that. I have no idea. So here's the Redskins offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And it'll be taken. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, you just saw that play at speed. You just saw it at speed, and that play is called Shark Halfback Wheel. Shark half back wheel and one of the things I would I would encourage you to do when I do this breakdown guys is to go back and look at your plays after every game because you'll learn how these plays really work when you go back and review them you'll see what you missed you can see what you could have did you can see how the defense plays it I mean it's obviously it's going to be different with each team you play but at least you have an insight of how this offensive play is supposed to work and I didn't realize the, the route combinations on this play was excellent. I mean, it was just so excellent. I didn't see all that. I saw what I completed to Richardson, but I didn't see what all the options that I had just in case Richardson wasn't open. You know, just in case that safety came up quicker. So let's go ahead and look at it real quick. Okay, now. Right before he lets the ball go. Now I want you to look at the options that we that I had on this play. We had him here. He was trying to bracket between Thompson and here. And Reed, right? Right here. Is that Reed? No, that's Crowder. He was trying to bracket uh, Crowder and Thompson. So he had to make a decision. You look over here. Now there is Reed. He's going across the middle right there. Wide open. Look. Right here. The ball doesn't go to him. The ball is in the air. But what I'm saying is there is nothing over here. Richards, I mean, uh, Josh Dotson was covered right here. He's pretty much covered, right? Okay. Now let's go back. I didn't see all this when I was when I was running the play. I did not see all this. Also, now look at this. I want you to watch this play develop a little bit more. Let's see before he lets go the ball. Okay, he's not let go of the ball yet. Now look at this. You got Thompson Hill on that wheel. That's the halfback wheel part of the shark play. It's called shark halfback wheel. We had Thompson right here, wide open down the sideline. I did not see that. I saw the spacing in it in here. I was waiting for Richardson to cut. I didn't want to throw it too early because I didn't want this guy to, they, they, you know how they jump up and grab that interception. But you see, Reed is open right here. He's got separation. We got Crowder right here. He doesn't know who to cover. Eventually, he goes to Crowder. And look at Thompson. Wide open down the sideline. Now, I could have threw it down here. But I made my decision to look for Richardson as my second read, right? Because I saw that gap down in the middle. And this safety is playing way too far back. Now, that one, that's one thing that could have saved this play if this safety had played it a little tight. He's playing a little deep. There's nobody back here, right? But as Richardson comes across, great placement with the ball right there. Great pass. He gets hit pretty hard, but it, he doesn't drop the ball. Great play. But my point of this video is, guys, is the options that I had on this play. Okay, when I was looking at the play, when I was looking at the play, when I was about right here, I saw a, a Reed coming across. But... As I saw this, this space clearing behind Reed, I saw that space developing, I knew Richardson was going to come back across. Okay, so I, that was my read. Reed or uh, Richardson. Okay, I did not see Crowder right here. And I did not see Thompson over here on the side, going down the sideline wide open. Honestly, I pro if I had a saw Thompson, I wouldn't have took that throw to Richardson because that's a higher percentage chance of something going wrong. Even though it was a great developing play, I would have took my bets to go to Thompson down here on the sideline, and he would have been he had a lot of room to run. This guy would have had to make a reaction to come back and get Thompson. But the point of the video, guys, is you gotta go look at your plays after you play. 
you got to go look. So now I know when I run this shark halfback wheel, I, my vision is there before the play happens. You ever heard people say, if you you need to envision it before it happens, you need to envision it before you do it. I know Russell Wilson talks about that a lot. So I guess film work, you know, like Peyton Manning, all those guys watch film, guys. So when they watch film, they, they already see it. So when they get to the real game, they see that same thing they saw in practice or they saw in the film room, right? The same things, guys. So next time I see this play, I'll see my routes developing a lot better because I've seen it before. You see how that works? And so next time I run this play, I'll have a better idea. Uh, my vision would be a lot clearer on these route combinations. And that would be a whole lot better. I can't wait, wait to run that play again. That's going to be a part of my, um, my uh, when I run my, um, my, custom, my custom playbook. That play is going to definitely be in there, guys. Especially, it's probably going to be one of my long plays, like third and long second and long plays so uh, uh, let's run it at speed real quick let's run it at speed you know what let's let me back out and make sure I get it right let's run it at speed you guys saw it in real motion but let's run it at speed all right here we go we had great blocking we had great pass blocking right here look at that Great pass blocking. Great pass blocking. Now you see a lot of things going on on the line. If you look right here, if you look at our right guard, Brandon Sheriff, watch him. He has nobody to block, but actually he's going over, he's looking at this guy right here. He's looking at that guy right there. But he can't get it, he can't get through the pile. That guy comes through, he's trying to go through instead of going through the hole. He should be going through this hole right here to, you know, come down that, come down this line right here to Cousins, right through that hole. But he go, he runs into the pile and trips over the over the pile. And Brandon Sheriff is stuck on the pile right here. You know, that's one negative I see about this play. So we back it up. You see Brandon Sheriff right there. He he's he's targeting to get to that linebacker, but he runs into the. Uh, uh, he runs into the pile right there. And then the defensive linebacker, he, instead of coming through the gap, he runs into the pile and falls down. That's the only negative. Other than that, great pass blocking, great route combinations, great pass by Alex Smith, and there you go. Big play. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. But if you're new to the channel, I'm going to be doing a lot of breakdowns with Madden 19. Hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports, baby, and we can all do it together. And as always, hopefully, I will see everybody on my next video. Get on up. Can I count it off? Go ahead. One, two, three, four.